So Blender 2.81 is available and officially out right now. This tool is just one of the best tools that I have seen the entire year. Not forgetting the fact that ZBrush just came out. Okay, let's just keep that by the side. And at the same time, let's not forget the whole updates coming to Unity and also Unreal Engine. But I got to tell you, from a long point of view, Blender 2.81 packs a lot of punch, which I think will plunge this tool into the hands of so many people and into so many studios. The updates, new features and tools in this brand new version of Blender is way too much. So let's just get right into it. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enk. Okay, so Blender 2.81 is officially out. Now, when Blender 2.8 was available, I was very pumped about this, but <laughs> right now the 2.81 is making me super pumped right now i feel like i'm super vook and i'm charging up as fast as i can now this comes with a lot of fixes and from the title here they say the good just got better and what was not fixed actually got fixed so they fixed a couple of things there's a whole lot of new features that you will be blown out of the waters to see and we're just going to go through and talk about them the very first notable thing that has been overhauled a lot of things that has been overhauled we'll talk about them but the very first one that has been overhauled which a lot of people have waited wanted cried for probably didn't cry for that much but you know blender was like okay we'll just give it to you guys is the sculpting so right now you can actually you know you know chop some knuckle with zbrush with blender right now you guys can actually have a good handshake and be like hey yo what's up and that's gonna happen because now there is an auto masking feature that is available in blender and this auto masking feature is something that i really really like it makes use of topology to do those auto masking and it only affects vertices that is connected to there is also word spacing there is grab uh, active vertices there is also normal radius these cool stuff are things that I am really really pumped about there is a dynamic mesh preview which would give you the chance to actually look over your model i think this is going to help a lot of people visualize what their mesh looks like it's going to help a lot of people visualize how dense and if they have to cut down on stuff and do some retopology speaking about retopology we have two brand new retopology tools which we've already covered in the channel before now but now we're going to still talk about them because it is just super awesome to talk about this cool stuff in blender so with that happening there you kind of think that you're done no you're not done there's a brand new update to the entire masking feature remember we're still talking about sculpting so there is now a masking filter there is also a dirty mask generator which can be used to mask cavities there is also a mask expand more like the grow mask you have in zbrush there is also a brand new mask extract so mask extract is actually the extract thing you get to find in zbrush so once you mask an object you can now automatically you know extract it and you know create some impressive things i think this is always always used especially if you're trying to make extra details or maybe you're trying to make cloning for your character then this would come in extremely handy and the masking feature is just so cool so cool i want to kiss it right now there is an entire new set of tools that i really really wish that you know we can see in some other apps i'm not talking about autodesk don't tell me about autodesk but yeah especially the pose brush this is definitely going to be a huge lifesaver over time masking and trying to reposition the particular thing ah uh, that, uh, that looks like old-fashioned right now there is also a brand new translate rotate and scale which takes into account pivot points and also symmetry zbrush was good was good there's also a brand new mesh filter too there's an elastic deform brush reminds me of the elastic move brush that you have in zbrush also there is a brand new sharp brush at the same time once you're playing with these tools there's just so many things that you can get out of them you know every single time you're done doing a simple or very complex sculpt you actually have to remesh and so there are two brand new remeshing tools that exist right now in blender 2.8 we've covered these in the channel link is going to be in the description also in the card and probably in the end note so you can check them out these two tools are super cool we've also talked about another brand new tool known as the quad remesher so link to all of those is going to be in the description just in case you kind of play with this and be like you know blender i don't really like this but for sure these two tools are super awesome so check out those videos so you can check out the comparisons and also see 
what you should work with now moving on to other interesting stuff the nvidia rtx is now supported in blender and this would help you so much especially when you're trying to do some sort of the noising you're trying to work with the noising stuff you're trying to render of course if you have an rtx card right now you can leverage from it and you can actually see what the graph looks like if you're running on your cpu you could see how much time it takes at the same time you can see if you're running on a cuda core and if you're running on the optics of course this is definitely definitely a huge huge time saver and if you do have an rtx right now you can use it especially if you're using cycles to render which we're also going to talk about in a moment the intel open image denoise is also available so right now you can easily denoise this we've already talked about this in the channel i'm still going to talk about a couple more features and you know do a couple of individual videos for this very very soon and so let's talk about cycles so for cycles there is a couple of nodes that have been added to cycles so we talked about the denoise so there is also a couple of brand new ones which has to do with adaptive subdivision stitching custom hdri picking from the viewport nvidia rtx support so if you want to check out these things link is going to be in the description so you can find those ones out now the preview passes directly on the viewport is also something that i like the fact that you can now see your diffuse your gloss your ambient occlusion your normals directly on your viewport it kills it and don't even get me started with the shader nodes that is now available for both circles and ev that has to do with volume vertex map range white noise mapping clamp mats and vectors veronai musgrave and noise these are super incredible now it seems like we've been talking about cycles a little bit too much let's just stop praising this cycle thing for once and move over to ev so ev now has a couple of interesting things you would need to check this yourself volumetrics are way faster when you get to compute them on gpus and at the same time you can now instance light and shadow casters uh, you can also hand out a couple of things there is transparency handling the soft shadows are also totally worked the contact shadows now follows the shape of the light instead of just you know approximating the shape how it thinks the sunlight now have their own clip distance and automatically computes this is super super incredible right now we're going to run into some very awesome territories that has to do with plane and we're not talking about anything than grease pencil so the grease pencil has been overworked there are a couple of new brushes that is available we talked about grease pencil you know being one of the main focus that would be coming to blender 2.82 you cannot convert curves to grease pencils at the same time you can also have overlapping you there is now a brand new isometric guy we're not even talking about the fading that exists in case you want to turn on and turn off stuff you want some things to fade out you want some things to fade in of course you can now fade these things out and we haven't even talked about the fire browser damn this is so good the fire browser has been reworked and yes we did cover about the fire browser especially when this tool was in beta and i told you guys that this to me is like the best fire browser ever to exist in blender the fact that they have reworked this and i particularly like the way the fire browser looks the fact that you can filter this thing i know a couple of people that have been using older versions you know would have a bit of ah oh, this doesn't look good but if you look at the ui come on man tell me the ui is incredible we've also talked about the outliner the entire outliner has been reworked right now you can just simply parent things by dragging and dropping you can now walk through your entire selection by just pressing the up down left right key those cool stuff that you really wish that you can have in blender now exists you can also do your object selection by using the eyedropper and so much more the box selection that has to do with a quick click and drag is just one thing that would actually save you so much time and speaking about selecting things the transform and snapping also has a brand new feel to them and this is also taking me to somewhere that i really did not want to go but of course if you use maya before if you use any other tool like 3d codes to actually do your topology you will be smiling right now because blender now has a brand new poly build tool which i think is going to be super super incredible and at the same time you can flawlessly work with this tool as much as you want seeing the brand new improvements in blender 2.81 it just simply makes me wonder why this tool is actually not sold because i know that there's a whole lot of sold out tools there that has little or nothing like this now let's move over to the library so there is a brand new library override and this is more like the override that you can have in maya and it's really cool to see that it exists here in blender because now you can create proxies 
and you can override these proxies with modifiers animation and even constraints so the viewport has also gotten a couple of improvements and at the same time the battery naming system is now totally fine so now you can find and replace things using expressions and all that stuff you can also filter things by data type right now they're saying there's a lot more things that are coming and we've already talked about the copy as driver the rigify refractor is also coming there is a new cycles node which we've also talked about there is also an import image as plane which is something that you'd see especially in maya and at the same time there are also other cool stuff like key map changes the fbs which i think i'm going to try as well so these brand new features are now in blender and it is just so much to see within just one installment i actually said this thing one of those other times and i think a lot of people got the idea where i said that except houdini there is no other app right now that pushes out as much updates and as much brand new features as much tools as blender following blender 2.8 all the way to 2.81 there's just incredible updates incredible brand new features that is coming and i think right now if you're not using blender as your primary tool you should really consider trying it out of course it might not be everything that you you want but this brand new version actually holds a huge punch i would like to know what you guys think about all of these features in the comment section and if you want to download a brand new version of blender you can get this by going over to blender.org where you can find the brand new version and you can download the blender 2.81 if you also want to download the older versions of course you can find those there and so that's about it blender 2.81 is officially out and it comes with a whole lot of tools i'd like to know what you think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace